I can confirm that there are now a total of 1,900 confirmed cases in 39 countries across the globe, including eight African countries. Of those countries in Africa, monkeypox cases have been previously reported in six. There have been, confirmed, there have been 36 confirmed cases in Nigeria, 10 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, eight in the Central African Republic, three each in Benin and Cameroon, and two in the Republic of the Congo. Ghana and Morocco, which have not previously recorded cases of monkeypox, now have five and one confirmed cases, respectively. Additionally, Ethiopia, Guinea, Liberia, Mozambique, Sierra Leone, Sudan, and Uganda, all countries with no previous incidents have also reported suspected cases. This is clearly an unusual situation that is affecting more and more countries. So soon, so soon after the inequities Africa experienced in respect to the COVID-19 response, we recognize, of course, that we cannot afford any potential repeat and need to be adequately prepared. So WHO is convening an emergency committee on monkeypox next Thursday, the 23rd of June, to assess whether this outbreak represents a public health emergency of international concern. However, as WHO in Africa, we're already ramping up support to countries to urgently increase testing capacity for monkeypox, and we're in the process of procuring thousands of tests for the continent. As far as the vaccine is concerned, one of the newer and safer smallpox vaccines has been approved for the prevention of monkeypox. Although we're certainly not recommending mass vaccination at this stage, we must ensure that we are ready should the need arise. Global stocks are extremely limited at this stage, but we're working closely with member states and partners on a coordination mechanism to ensure fair access to both vaccines and treatment.